Hello everyone, my name is Jean-Claude Harerimana. I'm an MBA student in the Department of Finance. As usual, we used to learn together through online. So today we are going to learn a course called Dissertation. We are going to see uh, how we can write our own dissertation, especially in a bachelor's degree and master's. We used to write dissertation and thesis, so now we're going to see how we can write our own dissertation. So we know that uh, dissertation have five chapters. Uh, chapter one is all about the to want to see the general introduction, and uh, after introduction, we try to see the background, uh, the problem statement. Uh, we see also the objective of the study. Uh, we have two parties of objective, general to assess our topic and for the specific to see the... Uh, also it is divided into three parts where we see the first objective is to look on the independent variable. Uh, second it's all about for dependent and the third one is for determining the relationship between two variables. So also in chapter one, we try to see the, uh, you know, the significance of the study where we see the, what is the importance of our research for the researcher. We try to see for the institution as universities and also we see the significance to the society in general. Uh, also in chapter one, we try to see the, you know, the scope of the study where we try to see the limits of your research where we see there is conceptual scope where we try to see we are only limited to the our topic we also look at the geographical scope where we try to be limited to the geographical special where your, your case study is we'll be looking also for the uh, the third one which is all about the time time we are trying to be limited by the time that you spend in your research. Uh, we try to see also for the conceptual framework. We know that conceptual framework is all about the, it's a tools that show how the independent variable is influencing dependent variables. Also in chapter one, we'll be concluding by seeing the, the, the operation key definition of those variables. We mean independent and dependent variable and with its sub variables. In chapter two, we'll be looking as uh, the literature review. We know that in chapter two, we try to see the theory that have been written for many researchers. We'll be looking at the, you know, the empirical review where we see there are many researchers or the authors who have written or make research for the topic that is related to ours. That's why we try to see internationally, globally, regionally or locally to see how they have tried to define or how try to come up with the topic which is related to ours. Uh, also in chapter two we end up by looking at the gap analysis where we see that uh, the gap that many researchers have failed to make emphasis on. For chapter three it's all about the you know the uh, research methodology where we try to see the what is the research design you know, research design is a, a blueprint of your study. It is a plan. Uh, it is the way you design to collect your data. We try to see the population. We'll be looking at the sample size. We know that there's many mathematicians who try to discover the formula that we use when you are calculating a sample. Where we see according to a man called Gabel and Yamen who have discovered this formula of determining the sample size. We'll be looking for the, you know, the sample, sampling techniques, where we try to see the, the, the techniques that we can use when you are selecting sample. You know that we have a huge population and hard to get uh, the, 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 the sample that you can be assessing during your research. So that's why we need to also understand the sampling techniques. So also we'll be looking at, uh, you know, the data collection instrument. 
uh, where the technique that we use when you are collecting data, you know, there are many techniques. We have questionnaire where we collect primary data. We have, uh, you know, the questionnaire. After questionnaire, we have documentary. We have interview and observations. So in chapter four, we try to present, we interpret, and we discuss about data where we try to use descriptive for uh, qualitative data and we, we try to analyze the relationship where we use the correlation. And we'll be ending up in chapter five where to try to see the conclusion and suggestion. So without drawing, this is all about the five chapters that we use when we are writing dissertation. So now I'm going to take one example topic that will be helping us now to have common understanding on how you can write your own dissertation. Let's now take an example of a topic so that you can be guided to know how we can write our own dis dissertation. So we have research topic which is all about the the effect of commercial bank service on performance of micro business in Rwanda. The case study is BPR. Now we, we want to see the you know uh, what is the contribution? What is the contribution of these commercial bank services on performance of micro business? So we have seen that the most problem that these micro business are facing as under problem statement, main micro business owner they are facing the problem of you know insufficiency of capital, they have restricted market access, they have poor capital structuring, they have you know the limited transport and energy. Those are all main barriers and challenges that micro business are facing. Now we want to see, we want to assess if now now this micro business if are getting access to those services of micro commercial bank services, is there make any change for their performance? That is the purpose of our topic. So now also we want to see the objective. We know that uh, uh, research in a, during dissertation, the objective is divided into two parts. As I said before, uh, you know, one is to try to see general objective where we try to assess your topic as our topic is uh, all about the effect of commercial bank services on performance of micro business. So we try to see the, the, how this independent variable, which is commercial bank, will be affecting or influencing the performance of micro business in Rwanda. So for the specific, you know that the first objective is to look on the independent variable where we try to, to assess the services that are given by uh, commercial bank, especially BPR as our case study. Objective number two is to look on dependence as performance of micro business and the third one is all about the determining the relationship between two variables. So in chapter one also we'll be looking at uh, the significance. As I said before, we want to see the importance of this research that you are making. One, it will be important to the researcher because we will provide the knowledge about how this commercial bank services is uh, influencing the performance of micro business. Uh, for the UNRAC as or the other universities, it will help the student to get secondary data, especially for those who will be working, uh, making research about the topic that related to this. It will be better for them to get secondary data. And also in general in society, it will reflect, it will show how these commercial bank services are contributing to the performance of micro business. So also we go to what you call conceptual framework. We know that conceptual framework is uh, the tools that show how the independent variable is influencing or affecting the performance of micro business as dependent variable. So now we have seen that uh, the purpose of research is to see how this independent variable, which is commercial bank services, to what extent is going to influence the performance of micro business in Rwanda. So that's why in 
independent variable which is commercial bank services we are having credit service we are having uh, saving we are having business anniversary and independent for the for the performance of micro business to perform well where it will be de depending to uh, the commercial bank services it will help them for profitability it will also help them for the business efficiency and also for the business sustainability so when you say business sustainability it's all about uh, the uh, ability of organization or the firm to work for a long time so without drain in chapter two as i say before it's all about the literature review that's where we try to see uh, uh, the literatures that have been uh, conducted by many researchers and also that's where we try to see the in empirical review uh, where we see the many authors who have been conducted research related to our topic. There are many researchers who have made uh, research, especially uh, one, they are the one who try to, 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 to make research to see what is the impact of commercial bank services on poverty alleviation. So this is the one of the researchers who have made research, but the gap which is uh, I'm going to talk about is that many many researchers have made emphasis on the poverty alleviation to see how these commercial bank services is affecting the or is helping the reduction of this poverty. So, but they have failed to find out to see that now what is the role of or the what is the effect of commercial bank services on the performance of micro business in Rwanda. So in chapter three, we know that it's all about research methodology. Now we want to see, uh, you know, what is research design. Research design is, uh, it is a tools or it is a blueprint of the study. It is a plan, it is a way you design to collect and analyze data. That is all about research design. And under research design, we want to also to design the way you will be collecting those data. So, we can use descriptive for analyzing quantitative data and you can use correlation for the relationship where you want to assess to what extent the variable, independent variable is affecting the dependent variables. So we'll be looking also for the population. You know that population, it is the entire element in your research or in your study. So not always the population means people, but in research, population is maybe can be animal it depends on the research you are making so our population who is micro business owner of this BPR as our case study is uh, 14,484 so now you know that according to main restriction means time and what you can't assess these people that's why we come up with a sample size according to Gabriel have formulated the formula as I said before the, which can use for you know determining the sample size of that population because you can take all those people we are, are exceeding 100 so that's why our population it is 14,484 but our sample size is 99 so now you can ask yourself now how can I get these people of 99 from the huge population of 14 and above so that's why we come up with the sampling techniques so I have used convenience sampling techniques because sampling techniques is a, a techniques where we use people or respondent who is ready and available so I have tried to go through for those respondent who are available and ready to respond so also we go to data collection we want also to know uh, how do you, which techniques are you using when you are collecting data. So one is questionnaire, the second is documentary where we try to see the second of data that you have generated from many researchers, even on a website. And also I have used the interview to see is that response is that uh, the answer I get from respondent as is matching from what I get from the manager of this BPL. So this is the technique that I have used when 
are collecting data. So as I said before, in chapter four, we try to present, we try to interpret and make discussion about data. That's where we use descriptive for quantitative data, where we determine the frequency and uh, the percentage. And also we use the correlation for you know, determining the relationship to what extent that uh, you know the, the independent variable is affecting the dependent variables so without drawing this is uh, uh, the relationship between independent variables which is commercial bank services and dependent which is all about the performance of micro business so as you can see is that uh, the commercial bank services is influencing uh, the performance of micro business at extent of 84.4 in other words uh, the correlation is significant when it is below 0 0.01 so that's why we can get result in this research by concluding that uh, if micro business owners are getting access to the services of commercial bank it will help them to perform at extent of 84.4 percent so as I said before in chapter 5, it's all about the conclusion and the suggestions. So uh, that's why we can conclude. But before we conclude, let's try to see the recommendation. Uh, what we can recommend this to government, we know that the government is not good for lending, but is there for, you know, providing or setting the appropriate policies and the legal framework that can help the smooth of the commercial bank services. That's why I want to commend to the government that should make, try to maintain the microeconomic stability and try to avoid the interest rate for guiding also the commercial banks. And also we recommend to government that they can even give freedom for those commercial bank services for developing their own system. So now uh, for micro business we recommend them that we have seen that the most problem of this micro business are facing there is poor strategic plan that's why we recommend to you know micro business owner to have the appropriate planning so that you can help them to perform well we know that uh, their concept say if you fail to plan you are planning to fail so that's why we recommend this micro business to have their strong and appropriate planning. So by concluding, as I said before, we have seen that uh, the result from this research is to show that uh, if micro business are getting access to these commercial bank services, it will help for performing at the extent of 84.4%. So now that's why we can conclude that this is uh, the result that come from if uh, this micro business owner are getting access to the commercial bank services, especially DPR as our case study. So thank you and God bless you. This is all about the, how we can write our own dissertation. So for more comments, write down and we can get more information. Thank you.